first, there is breaking news now on Fox News Channel and continuing coverage. We have a verdict in the Jody Arias murder trial charged with murder in the first degree. Lesser included charges are possible. The jury has decided whether she should spend the rest of her life in jail, whether they should go into an aggravation phase, which would suggest that the possibility of the death penalty, whether there's manslaughter, meaning it happened in a fit of rage, or whether this actually was self-defense whether she had in fact been abused by her then ex and whether she felt like the only way to save her life was to take his if so Jody Arias walks out free Jeff Gold is a former prosecutor now a defense attorney has been attending the trial for the past four months how you've done that is beyond me sir but now that we're on the day of reckoning tell me what your thoughts are well first of all they've been delivering for two and a half days uh, that's within the realm of it still being first degree, in my opinion. They had to give some due respect to the evidence. I think if they came back the first day, I wouldn't be thinking it would be first degree. But two and a half days is enough. The jury came in at 10 o'clock rather than 9 o'clock today and then had their verdict before lunch. So they didn't deliberate very much today. Uh, you've got it exactly right on what you think could happen. The only thing we know now is it's not a hung jury, but those other possibilities could happen in just about an hour. As you listen to the question, this was a unique experience for many of us. As we got to hear questions from the jurors, what did those questions tell you about where their heads are, if anything? Well, there, you know, there, some of the jurors are very sophisticated. It's great because it allows us to know a little bit about what they're thinking. It. And at the same time, it allows them to actually express some things. Maybe they don't have to deliberate quite as much at the end. There's some smart jurors on there. That's what it tells me. Mm -hmm. And in the end, there was so much to, to plod through. I mean, she was on the stand for 18 days. I've been covering trials for 25 years. I've never seen anything like that. And what a witness. Right. Me either. Well, the thing I, I've been saying about that, at least at the time, was she had 11 days of direct, seven days of cross-examination. She stood five to 10 feet away from this jury. Very difficult to kill someone who has been that intimate with you, you know, sitting and chatting with you. And some of those juror questions actually refer to her as Jody. Again, an indication maybe they're not going to kill the Thanksgiving turkey. There is certainly familiarity there, if nothing else. Uh, Jeff, thank you.